best of three. Listen to Volt Tech distress signal. What? A Volt Tech distress signal. Let's this have has a... been a pre recorded message. What? Message repeats in three seconds. What? Uh... Help! <laughs> what was that? Oh shit. They're gonna kill me. What? Something about this. This has been a pre recorded message. That didn't message sound real three seconds. at all. Well, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, hey. we're going to be playing. I'm, I'm gonna turn this thing off. I'm gonna be playing a new creation club update. Pretty much in this one, with uh, finding the Thunderbolt gun, I think it's called. I can't even remember, but. Yeah, we're gonna investigate the distress signal coordinates. So the, uh, I think the nearest location will be Waypoint Echo. So yeah, let's fast travel there. And Sanctuary. We got the Brotherhood right here. Let's uh, which way are we going? I think we're going this way. All right. Well, we're going this way. And there's another location that I think just got added to the map. What is that? Oh, that's Sanctuary. Never mind. All right, we're all good. We're going down there now. I've got this new weapon from the last creation that I just got. I've completely forgot what it's even called, but nice automatic rifle, so Oh we got vault we got a vault here. Vault 95. How have I never unlocked that on this game before? What the hell? That's actually so odd. Well let's keep going down the air while we we continue to get shot at. And yeah I'm guessing this must be the one with the companion. I thought the last weapon creation that we just did was gonna be the one with the companion but I guess we were wrong, so I'm hoping to potentially see a companion in here, but yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they did talk about it once, but yeah, we're heading up to the spot right now with the new Minutemen power armor on. This is so nice. It's so good. Um, But yeah, let's have a look. We got over here, we got a, a Vault 95 gunner. Search the gun of evidence of just what happened. Got a gunner holotape. And yeah, let's actually rate this. It looks like he's nearly lost his arm. Alright, let's have a look. Gunner holotape should be in here. All the way down to G. Um right, somewhere here. Gunner's holotape. Alright, instructions for Crane. Sarge wanted me to give you a copy of the newest backdoor for the Pit Boys. Instead of going through the current OS um, accessible a lower level of code within the device. Once it does that, something quite interesting happens. Uh, I'm wasting my time. You need to know how to pull the plug from the back of the Pit Boy carefully this time, then simply insert um, into the Pit Boy, provided the plug is removed and the back uh, backdoor program is tricked automatically. Once inside, you can pull the data from the Pit Boy and find coordinates, logs, you name it. Uh, Sarge is hoping that if you find an anti-vault dwellers in the field, will be able to locate more vaults through their pit boys. You know what that means. Ah, uh, hell, knowing you, you'll probably end up leading the vault dwellers to us rather than the other way around. I hope Sarge knows what he's doing. Okay, so they're trying to find more v vaults. All right, we, get, we download pit boy data. Did I just plug the pit boy into him? What? I have, what the? <laughs> All right, we got corrupted data image file. Okay, so it looks like it's not letting me access that we got this one it's the only one that's letting me access holy crap where do i start i'm just glad i have uh this to write down it's uh just had this thing to write it all down we've been locked up in the vault for weeks now i've been bored as hell with all these games and these uh these things are getting old fast it was putting down the notes saying kick me on Caroni's back for a while but next thing you know russ was saying there's a paper shortage also, it's not exactly easy pl uh, playing a prank on someone who spends all their time in their room. Me and the boys are trying to reprogram the assault trying to give him a wedgie. Holy crap. But yeah, less said about that, the better. It was then I remember uh, Lasansky uh, was telling me that he reprogrammed our pit boys for sides so we can better track our guys at the Glowing Seas mission. Well, the joke's on Lasan uh, Lasansky. I've done, I found a better way to use this stupid, I'll use your stupid program. I've got a few of the squad together and managed to break into the kitchen to take the weak old Mylurk soup that has been smelling out the canteen for days. Then we hostiled it to a rope on the uh, autorium. 
After that, all we had to do was watch Caroni walk down the hallway to get his dinner after everyone else was gone to bed. God, I can't even describe my anticipation watching the little Caroni blip uh, move across the pit boy screen. By the time a blip appeared in the atorium, I lifted my head up and there it was. Completely unaware that he was going to smell like a dead Milurk in the sun, I told Jones to pull and the next thing you know, the goop came falling out of his head. His face was a fucking picture. I swear, he was about to cry. Haven't seen him since. To think Sarge wanted us to use these things to track down the mission, uh, track us for the mission tomorrow. Okay, so we've got that done now. Let's have a look on what else we have to do. Do we have to go to Vault 95? No, we're going to invest the Gunner's Pit Boy coordinates, which is over here. I was going to say, I don't even know why, but I haven't even investigated Vault 95 yet, which is obviously so weird. Alright, so taking us to that building up there, which looks like a, a spiky dick. I, I have no idea. What even is that? Looks like we're also heading near the Glowing Sea, I think. Um, not too sure. Yeah, it does look like it a bit... It's got our fusion core removed and we're getting what looks to be a little bit of rad, so probably not the best thing, but yeah, we are here at the spiky dick place. Um, oh, it's a church that's built into the ground. Holy crap. Oh no, I got knocked down. Yo, what just knocked me down? Holy crap. Oh my, let's get a grenade out. Something just knocked me down then. I was full on like all goods there and I just fell down. All right. Oh, I just go... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Holy crap! Oh my god. That was probably not the best thing to do. I'm so lucky. Oh. This thing is biting me. Oh. Let's, uh... Headshot him. We'll get a crit going on. I love this gun. It's like a really good automatic. There we go. Oh my god. How many were in here? Uh-oh. Oh. oh, my arm is breaking. There we go. Alright. We're going to Vault 95 Gunner again. Oh, i got to download his Pip-Boy data. Alright. Got this one. I better use this thing for something. Maybe Confessional of Swords will make it uh, feel better about what I did. Here goes. Caroni, he never exactly was an ideal mercenary. But he worked well as a team. He was good at all the technical stuff, hacking terminals, getting through automated doors, disabling turrets, and me, well, I finished the job. It's all changed, though. Even though he signed up for the Gunners, they were playing a uh, more far more, and then we could make our own. So it seemed like a no-brainer at the time. Little did I know that would happen when Caroni was forced to work with people other than myself. When I was assigned to my squad, it was like I had known them for years. We worked well together, and the guys respected me for my marksmanship. But Caroni was a different story. He was always a quiet taste and his shyness frustrated Sarge. It was a mistake to shove a laser rifle into his hands when I knew his best skill was somewhere. I thought when we took the vault, things would change. And that's when he'd come out of the shell and said the opposite happened. It's these damn pit boys who's obsessed with them. He spends all time in his room playing games. Uh, okay. Oh, like all the pit boy games and stuff. All right. I, I've tried to snap him out of it. Telling the Sarge is going to boot him out of the gunners or worse. But he always uh, rebuffs me. It's funny. I still beat him in all the games despite him playing them longer than I have. If I hear best of three one more time, I might snap. Maybe one time he'll shape up. But I can't wait that long. I gotta do something quickly. I owe him for saving my life. This vault was filled with cams. And it's not like we're going to miss a few shots of Psycho. Alright, so where are we going now? How do I even... Where is another Feral Ghoul? How do I even get out of this place? Oh, here we go. Um, take that. Uh, do we get out here? No, but where the hell do I go? I have no idea how to get out of here. Oh, maybe. I think you climb up. There we go. Makes sense. Um, is that... What is that? Church safe key? Okay. It's a bit odd, but yeah, let's uh, make our way out of here now. And we will go to the next location, which I have no idea where it is. And yeah, it looks like we are in the glowing sea right now. Investigate the next signal's coordinates, which takes us over there. Alright, here we go. Let's uh, get out of here now. 
At least we're not going, I guess, too far into the going stair. I don't want to stuff with any death claws or anything like that, but... Yeah, actually, it would be cool to test this new gun. I just want to find this new... The new uh, guns that we can get in this creation. That'd be cool. I, think, I forgot what they're even called. I think they're called Thunderbolts for some. Um, or maybe not. I can't... Oh, Plasma... Plasma something. I don't remember. Alright, but anyway, we got... One of these things. Whose flag is that? Relay Tower. And then we got another Vault 95 Gunner. Let's download his data and see what's up. And yeah, he's got all corrupted data again. Download interrupted. I'm making a mission report here in case anybody comes across my body. If you're unable to identify me, I'm Lieutenant Lazansky, tech specialist on Salvage Team 20. We managed to locate the wreckage. It's likely impacted the survival of the crash. That said, we underestimated the hostiles we would likely encounter on our mission. As a result, two-thirds of the plat room is dead or MIA. It's likely I would be, I've been right there with them if it wasn't for a crony. I wasn't sure if the surgeon had picked up the private to accompany us on the mission, but for the moment, I was glad he did. My good feeling was short-lived, however. Despite saving us, Caroni wouldn't respond to my orders. The only time we had this, we heard as much as a peep was when he found, uh, when one of our firemen or fire team killed a hostile. Every time that happened, Caroni would look at anxiously for another mutation to put down. We tried to tell him every hostile we killed risked us to swamp once more. He wouldn't listen. It was at this time we were determined to get the most kills out of all of us. Did he think it was some kind of game? We didn't hold on to our position for long. Even Caroni didn't fancy his chances for the two death claws that flanked us. For once, we agreed with something, ran to a nearby cave, and it appeared that the basic lost out of scent. It was when we found the pre-war weapon. Ooh, the pre-war weapon. Is that is that it? Now I've had to assemble and reassemble a oh, plasma rifle. There we go, before. But this was like nothing I've ever seen. We had to get this back to the base. The first time we had to get some rest. When I woke up, I discovered that it was not only our out of all of our mentax gone, but Caroni was hunched over the weapon on a boulder. It's gone through a part scattered across the rock face. At the time, even the death's al even the death's almost a certainty. I still w couldn't get the promotion opportunity to go. I tackled Caroni. He fought back once his fray started, and the rest of the team jumped in. All of us fighting over the weapon. The noise attracted what was left of the glowing sea's population to our position, and soon we were running for our lives once more. To say we were lucky this time was an understatement. I watched the rest of the uh, rest of us being torn apart, but the weapon, it worked. Coroni fire misleading into the storm. Its effectiveness is clear, but it wasn't enough. The last I saw of him was him running into the sea, the ribbons of electricity from the weapon slowly glowing tinier and tinier into the fog. I got away again. Most of me didn't, uh, most of me did anyway. I'm going to try and get the transmitter of the radio for some help, but only time will matter now. Oh my god, I just got absolutely jumped by a bug. And I'm just low. Oh, what the fuck? What happened to his body? Holy crap! Yo! What? Oh my god, what is happening? What happened to his body? Why are there so many bugs? Holy crap. What the actual shit? He's gonna break my armor. There we go. What happened to his body? What the f What? Okay, do I have to do anything with this tower? Uh... Well, I don't know. I'm extending it anyway. Don't know if that's going to do anything. But we need to go all the way. Where does it want us to go? Oh, let's help defend Sanctuary. So what does it say? Listen to the gunner's signal remnant. Is that on here? Let's have a look. Um. Gonna signal remnant. There we go. Alright. Now we're gonna do one of these things again. Oh, well, we... Did we... Did I go the wrong way? 12%. Maybe this way. 10%. Um... Keep me updated 6%. What way is it then? Is it this way? Or am I going backwards? I have no idea. Must be this way. What? I have no idea where it is. It must be back. 
0 0.0 8.3 okay it has to be through here then we must have been going the wrong way 6.2 so it's definitely down here 7.51 um we're still very far 5.6 1.11 what where is it what the hell I really am so confused. Zero percent. Zero point zero seven. Five point five. Nine point. All right, it's this way. Here we go. I was completely going the wrong way this whole time. What is that? 15, 21, 25, 30, 36, come on, 38, 41, 44, Oh, is it at the plane? It might be at the plane, I feel like. 54, no. I have never discovered this plane as well. What? Uh, it's not directly at the plane, I don't think. 81. 83. 88. All right, just keep going straight. 92, 93, mm, 91, alright, is it over here? 87, alright, it's back here, I feel like. Eighty four, eighty seven, eighty nine. 84, 87, Alright, I, I think this is him right here. Yes, it is. Okay, that took a long time. Oh, I'm going to turn this thing off now. <laughs> so, alright, there we go. Alright, let's have a look now at what we have to go through here. We have mission accomplished. The architect is in pieces, but for those pieces, the interact, we we're about to check inventory to see if we can carry some of the equipment back to Vault 95, until we saw a blue light in the fog, as it grew closer, raised our weapons, I could hardly believe it in my eyes, it was a good for nothing Caroni, it didn't take him long to guess that the coward survived, he had something hoisted over his shoulder, glowed brightly, fucker was going to give away our position, I told him to put it down, he didn't, I told him it was in order, he didn't respond, we drew our weapons again, and I ordered him once more. He stood there, and I told my men to approach. As they surrounded him, some kind of lightning bolt shot from that thing, turned from it into ash, or felt, sorry, into ash. We covered the areas in bullet, but when the smoke cleared, the son of a bitch was gone. He couldn't go one circle without tripping over his, shop, uh, his shoelaces, but now he can disappear into a flash. We, doubted, we darted out into the fu uh, fuselage for cover, and he came at us again. He didn't even take cover as he pursued us. He took one or two more of our men. Um, and then I was sure he as dead. So I leapt over at him, squarely on the drawer. He fell into the floor, into the cabin. And then what was left of us is joining me, holding him down. We had the fact we needed him alive, but command that we needed it to happen out, um, out here. Otherwise, I would have shot the bastard myself. Bastard may have put up a good fight, but people was like that. But people are like that. Even if we had an advantage, they always lose. Okay. Oh my god, holy crap! Yo. He just randomly... I don't want to kill him just yet. I want to see what he looks like. Yo, he's stimming up. Alright, let's crit his head. Oh, what? I didn't even have... Oh my god. Why do I... I keep trying... I keep thinking this is the Star Wars and I keep trying to dodge. He's like doing no damage to me. I think I'm on easy mode again. I don't know why, but I just always... I can't even see anything with him just... Alright, here we go. Headshot. Bang! There we go. Coroni is done. 
the fake Oni, pick up the Tesla cannon. Here it is. The Tesla cannon. This is what we have been waiting for. We can play the best of three. Let's get the Tesla cannon out. Here it is. Holy crap. Oh my god. Let's... Holy shit. Let's see if we can go and get some good gameplay out of this weapon. Yeah, we got a rad scorpion. Oh my. I just absolutely hammered them. Holy crap. This thing is insane. All right, it doesn't look like it's good long distance. Whoa. It doesn't look like it's good long distance at all, but. There we go, come on, bang. This thing is an absolute beast of a weapon. Oh my God. Wow, geez. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest gaming and Fallout content. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this weapon? Do you guys think it's good? Do you guys think it's bad? Have you guys played it? Did you guys like it? Did you guys not? I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time.